You've signed up to take a class on algebra, and you're ready to get started solving problems. But there's an important question we need to ask ourselves. What is algebra? Algebra is a way of thinking logically about the world. It's a process that lets us explore the abstract relationships between different things, and then it provides us a way to describe those relationships. We will use variables and other symbols as tools to help us express this abstraction in a way that is easier to work with. So let's look at an example. Amos Dobert, a physics professor at Tufts College, noticed that the snowy tree cricket chirps faster when temperature rises and slower when temperatures fall. In 1897, he published his findings in an article called The Cricket as a Thermometer. In it, he described the relationship between the outside temperature in Fahrenheit and the number of chirps the cricket makes in one minute. He found that if you take the number of chirps in one minute, subtract 40 from it, divide that by four, and then add 50, you find the temperature in Fahrenheit. To make this easier to work with, I'm going to represent the temperature with the letter T and use the subscript F to show that I'm working in Fahrenheit. The T is acting like a placeholder for a quantity that will vary depending on the situation. So we call it a variable. Similarly, I will use the variable N to represent the number of chirps. So to bear, would have expressed the relationship like this. T is equal to N, or the number of chirps, minus 40 divided by 4 plus 50. By using the variables and an equal sign, we've created an equation. We can use this equation to figure out the temperature by counting the frequency of chirps. If I counted 80 chirps in one minute, I could substitute 80 in for the variable N. If we wanted to evaluate this equation, we would subtract 40 from 80, getting 40, and then I would divide by 4 to get 10, and then I would add 50, giving me the temperature of 60 degrees Fahrenheit. What if we need the temperature in Celsius instead of Fahrenheit? Well, we have an equation that relates the temperature in these two scales. The temperature in Celsius is equal to 5 ninths times the quantity of the temperature in Fahrenheit minus 32. Just as before, when we replaced the n with 80, once we knew how many cricket chirps there were, we can replace the variable t in Fahrenheit with n minus 40 divided by 4 plus 50. That gives us a fairly complex looking equation, but we can simplify that to the temperature in Celsius is equal to n minus 40 divided by 7.2 plus 10. We are left with an expression that directly relates the temperature in Celsius to the frequency of cricket chirps. It's okay if you didn't completely understand what we just did. The main takeaway is that algebra will provide you with the tools to precisely and concisely express relationships between quantities that you care about and to make it easier to compare, combine, and rearrange those relationships to find new patterns. We will find that algebra overlaps with many different areas of mathematics. So when it helps to enrich our understanding of the core material, this course will draw from fields including geometry, discrete math, and probability. Whenever possible, new ideas will be presented using algebra tiles and other visual aids. The goal is to increase your mathematical intuition by focusing on developing a conceptual understanding of the material.